Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We talk a lot about how six stars and, and six star nexus crystals can be really exciting, and they are. But there's a lot more famine than feast, so to speak. There's a lot more average and trash and meme champs than god tier, beyond god tier that show up. We've seen a lot of trash, six star basics, six star nexus, etc. And we know that six star, six stones are still crazy expensive and rare and only reserved for those at the very top, meaning sometimes Cavalier, but mostly Thronebreakers. And so because of that, I still believe, and I continue to sound the horn of this message, that 565 five stars are a way better decision than most rank two six stars. I just believe that. I also believe that that's true when it comes to power. When you think of a champion like Ghost, oftentimes it's better to bring in your 565 Ghost than it is a rank two Ghost because of that power gain. So, uh, by the way, what I mean by that is that Kabam has confirmed multiple times that a rank, a, a next rank of a champion, regardless of their star rating, helps them gain power faster. And five stars versus six stars, that's obviously the case. So, Lilipok here has the five Cavalier Nexus Crystals from this month's new daily card. Something in this crystal has come to bargain. Let's see what it is. The first crystal, right off the gate, is a five-star Mole Man. I love Mole Man. I hate fighting him. Fighting Mole Man and Fighting Hit Monkey are two of the champions that I just hate to fight in the arena, and yet they always seem to be popping up. That is a really solid first Nexus. I said when I opened my five Nexus that if I got one five-star, I'd consider it a win. I did get Fishbowl, but then, of course, they got a six-star Nexus. Uh, but, yeah, I got a five-star, and then the rest were three and four stars. But Mole Man is a great start. One for one with five stars. So, how do you follow a five-star up? Well, let's look at the next one. After the five-star hero trash, Crystal Shard cash goes away. All right, so we go from Mole Man to... Crystal number two... What do you know? It is our first five-star Nexus sighting. Back-to-back -back five stars, first a champion. And obviously a Nexus. That I'd be very happy at this point if I was this summoner. Very, very happy. All right. Next crystal. First two are five stars. Reminds me of the what-if Nexus crystals. How about this? You have a choice between a five-star Nexus or a six-star Proxima Midnight. Now, I think the decision is pretty obvious. You got to go with the six-star Proxima Midnight, particularly if you have a six-star Corvus. But still, that's three out of three five-stars and two straight back-to-back five-star Nexus Crystals. Still amazing value for the money. In this case, what's he do? He looks at the Nexus. He looks at Proxima Midnight, goes with the six star. Okay, two crystals left. All five and six stars so far. Amazing value. Second to last crystal. This time, wouldn't you know it, back to back to back, five star Nexus. The five star Nexus has come to bargain. Unbelievable. And he actually chose only two out of three Nexus because there was just a pesky new six star he had to choose. Talk, talk about a first world MCSC problem. So yes. Two Nexus. And then the last crystal. You had three five star Nexus and he finally gets something that makes sense. RNG wise. Look at that. Technically, it should have been three five star Nexus, but instead it was two because, oh no, he got a Proxima Midnight. Now, I know he didn't send the Nexus crystals along because I think he wanted to make this video around five minutes and not longer by the time I got through everything. But next time, bud, just might as well open the Nexus and leave it in the video, even if it takes another minute. So, 
Five Star Nexus came to bargain, and the only thing that interrupted the bargain was a six star prox. Now, if you try this, you're probably going to get three and four stars, but it's nice to see that uh, he got really good luck. Congratulations to him.